Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to our midweek episode of The Random Pick. This series differs ever so slightly from our normal random pick series, uh, because whereas we normally choose three random players off the market or whatever, uh, we actually base this episode around two random players and one player that we've picked specifically for the squad. i got my lovely pink controller here today, and we are basing today's episode on this guy. Now, uh, as you can see on your screens right now, uh, I did a bit of a Twitter poll the other day, and I asked you guys, uh, in my head I had between Adariz and Tots Benzema, who do I want to feature as our player for the random pick? So I thought, you know what, let's throw it out to Twitter. Uh, I gave you guys like half an hour or something to, to vote, and a few hundred of you did, and it just, Adariz literally just pipped uh, Benzema to the post to, uh, to win today's prize of him being the featured player in our squad. So we have one of our random pick players, our main feature player. We now need to pick two other randoms and I thought maybe you guys could play along with me today because Adariz is a uh, less than 100k player. As you can see, I bought him for 99,000 coins, and I'm sure that price will literally keep coming down. Uh, he's got plenty of inform versions, so uh, if your budget is less than mine, perhaps you could use a different version of him. Uh, so pick yourselves up an Adariz, whether that be the Tots or any of his informs or even his regular gold item. And now let's play the pick the other two random players from the players I've got in my club game. So in order to do that, I'm going to be using Siri. Uh, Siri will randomly tell me which page number to go to in my club. It will randomly tell me which player to pick on that page. So let me go to my club and show you what I've got. So as you can see, we're on like page number seven here. And we're down to like the 84 rated players. I've absolutely culled my club recently. I've gone from like 600 players to less than 300, which is still, I've still got a decent club, I'm not going to lie. But I got rid of all of the players that I thought I would literally never use, uh, and I sold them so that I could have uh, some coins for tots to buy these players and make videos and stuff with. So, uh, as you can see, like page number 7, we've got the 84s, uh, we've got 85s, and even an 86 on page number 6. Typically, this would still be like, I don't know, maybe it would still even be informs or it'd be the high rated players in my club um, and at the moment they're just the just above average players so as you can see I don't have that many amazing players I've got a pretty good club um, but we have to go to page number three to start seeing our informs and our team of the seasons and whatnot uh, and then I've actually got page number two is this lot here so only like 80 and 85 rated informs and special items and then my best uh, page on of my entire club now is this one on page number one uh, whereby I I have mostly pack pulled stuff. So my four legends that I've pack pulled. Danny Alves I pack pulled. Uh, I've bought these guys. I pack pulled him. I pack pulled him. So I tend to keep some of the higher rated stuff that I pull. Uh, but as you can see, I've culled my club quite a bit. So I thought maybe it would be good if we went from, let's say, page number one to page number five. So that's 50 different players, or 49 if you discount Adder is because he's already in the club. So we would have a one in 49 chance of picking someone between, what, what page number five again? Is it like 84? Four, no, 85 or 86 rated 86 rated players uh, or better let's say so we're going to have 1 in 49 chance to get them I'm going to ask Siri between a, for a number between 1 and 5 so that we can tell what page we need to be on and then I'll ask Siri a second question of um, give me a number between 1 and 10 so we know which player to pick Siri give me a number between 1 and 5 5 Five. Okay, we literally need to be on page number five, which we are currently already on. Uh, so, Siri, give me a number between one and ten. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. That what? Why would that be beyond your abilities? Just give me a number. Siri, give me a random number between one and ten. That would be four. That would be four. It says four on the screen. The fourth player in this particular squad is 86 left wing position change Di Maria. He is the second random pick player today. He goes into our squad. Siri, give me a random number between one and five. It's three. It's three. So we go to page number three of which I have. I think this is where we start getting special items. This is quite interesting. Siri, give me a random number between one and ten. That would be four. That would be four. So the fourth player 
on this page is Gerdhart, 2, 3, and Farias. Team of the season, Farias. Someone I've been very excited to use recently. I am looking forward to trying this guy out. All right then, guys. We've got our three players. Uh, they're just in a random squad in a random formation at the moment. What I thought I might do and what I thought you guys would find interesting, I've had a lot of requests to do this, especially when I do like the live choosing of players using Siri and stuff is that maybe I would build the squad whilst you watch and I'll just have to try and wing it and try and get some players into the team and make a full chem team. I'm not sure how well it will go because normally I spend, I don't know, let's say 20 minutes, half an hour on like Futwiz building the squad, trying my best to figure out what could work and stuff. But this I'm just going to try and do it within a few minutes. I'm not going to time myself or anything like that. This isn't seven minute squads or, or what other YouTubers do. I just wanted to maybe film it and see what you guys think, see what squad that I can come up with. So initially straight off the bat I've got to try and think about strong or perfect links for these guys because it's not going to quite work with the chemistry. Luckily I think all three of these have probably got a decent perfect link like I think Di Maria like he will obviously link perfectly to Pastore that might help with chemistry. Uh, I know that Farias has got some Brazilian cam that's a, literally a perfect link and he's like a silver in form so that could work as well and then Adariz I'm struggling with Adariz uh, let's take a look at, I don't know, let's for example go to his league, do, 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 and he uh, he plays for Bilbao, so let's just literally search through the midfield options in Bilbao. We have got a team of the season, Benyat there, Benat, however you say his name, we've got, eh, I don't know, what about any... Like, wingers. We don't want left wing. Are there any right wing? Oh, Iñaki Williams. That could work. So, he would need to be over here. I think 4-1-2-1-2 might be a bad formation. If we got Iñaki Williams. Have I got an Iñaki Williams? Uh, I'm pro I've probably got one. I've probably got the upgrade version. I have. He's in right forward. We can change that later on. But there's our first player to go in the squad. So if we're going to link up this guy to his perfect link, uh, who does this guy actually play for? He plays in the Serie B for Cagliari. So let's go to, I think he's silver, and I think he's a... Oh, I guess he's a cam, maybe. Maybe Farias is a cam. I don't know. You're seeing how I'm thinking as I'm doing this. You might think I'm an absolute retard. Uh, Serie B, Cagliari is is it this guy Jao Pedro he looks pretty good I think this is probably the guy is this the guy it is and there's a few of him on the market he's 25k I guess this is the cam one let's pick him up uh, and uh, there we go we've got that player there this isn't going to work with the chemistry is it 41212 is a bit of a bitch what else have we got we've got 352 I think 3-5-2 could probably work because essentially like Adaris has got enough chem, so has Farias. We could get like some of the, I mean there's good centre backs for PSG that we could get in to help link with Di Maria. Let's let's make um, Iñaki Williams a, a right winger and then a right midfielder to get him on some chemistry to start off with. Uh, where is that? Do I have, there we go, right wing. And then do we have a right wing to right mid? Or I can probably just keep him at right wing because he's uh, he's played enough games that he'll have loyalty for me and he'll be on full chem. So at the moment, that's what we've got. So I guess, is Pastore the guy we link or do we bring in someone like Thiago Silva? Um, what am I doing? Search clubs. Thiago Silva's going to be up there. There we go. We bring in Thiago Silva. That gets a strong link to Di Maria. And at the moment, I think these two guys are set for chemistry. Farias is set. This guy's going to need one more player. And of course, we want to try and get in at least another league or something so that it's at least like a four league hybrid, I guess. It's probably not going to turn out to be a great hybrid, but this is what we're doing. Um, so, midfielders. I don't know. Maybe if we went with. Um, for example, let's go with someone like Matuidi, who play, also plays in the French League Gun. Have we got him as a centre mid? I have, because I'm, I'm a little bit... We don't need too much chemistry for Di Maria. He's already got over in what he needs at this point in time. But I'm thinking if we've gone with, like, Matuidi here, who's more of a CDM than Pastore, maybe we could branch off with a little bit of Frenchness right now. 
Uh, and then I need to think of like a CDM who's Brazilian that could get a strong link to like a Frenchman uh, in, in let's say a different league because Matuidi's going to need one more link here, at least a weak link. Uh, what have we got in terms of just uh, French centre-backs? What have we got? What have we got? We've got... Got Varane. Uh, he's not a different league. We've got Koscielny. Koscielny's always a good shout. But I don't think there's any Brazilians that play for Arsenal. I mean, the only... Bra that could work. Kurt Zuma links to Ramirez, right? We've got a BPL Ramirez. So let's go BPL. Let's go for Chelsea. Oh, I've, I've got him. I definitely have him. We'll find him. There he is. He's in centre mid for me. So that would give enough chemistry to this guy, who is Jao Pedro. Uh, we then need to just link up the rest of the squad. So I think everyone now is on enough chem going forward. The whole midfield and stuff is nearly on enough chem. We need to sort out these guys. Do we just carry on with a little bit of BPL? Do we get... Who else plays for Chelsea? Centre-back. Perfect. Cahill. We could go Cahill. And then now Ramirez has got enough chem. yaki has got enough chem. So has this guy. But we just need a goalie now that would work. Uh, we obviously don't want to go Chelsea because we've just gone with club links to these guys. So we've got, we've got yeah, all club links so far. Maybe we just go, is there a Brazilian goalie in the BPL that we could get? Or what goalies are there in the BPL that I've got? Czech wouldn't work. Courtois would, but he's Chelsea. So that's sort of club link again. Loris could work. Or so could Joe Hart, I think. Loris is better. Let's put him in. And that works, right? Everyone's on full chem. We've built a random pick squad. Well, let's see what we've got. So we've got France, we've got England, we've got Brazil, we've got Spain, we've got Argentina. So that's five nations. And then we've got French Ligue 1, BPL, Serie B, and uh, La Liga. So we've got four league, five nation squad. In my eyes, that's like a hybrid. I know we've utilized a lot of perfect links and strong links and club links and stuff. But I think this random pick squad's pretty much good to go. I was actually quite, I'm quite impressed. I'm not going to lie. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Are you impressed or not? Um, it's a pretty solid looking team. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to using Jao Pedro, Tots Varias, Diego Varias, and then Adder is as well. Cannot wait for that. So our three random pick players, of course, are Di Maria. He's 86 rated. Uh, this is a position change and an upgrade. He looks pretty good. Probably not best positioned out on the left mid. Maybe a left wing would have been better, but we would never have been able to do this with our squad. Uh, and then Farias being our other random pick player. 92 pace and 85 dribbling on a team of the season silver. That's ridiculous. And then Adariz has got 95 shooting, 92 physical. I mean, under 100k, 91 rated. Very, very much looking forward to using him. So we've built the squad full of players. No, I didn't have Xiao Pedro. Everyone else was actually in my club already. Um, so let me know what you guys can do with the players that we've got. Uh, if you were playing along, then what I needed you to do was not necessarily choose Di Maria or Farias, but choose the... Uh, what was it, like the fourth player on the third page or whatever it was, and let me know what what features in your club. And always go ahead and tweet me a picture at Lasty on Twitter, LA5TY, um, and show me what squad that you've come up with for the random pick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and play a bunch of games with this team, and the rest of the video will be post-commentary, me giving you feedback on how I like the players, and then we'll do our ratings at the end as usual. So I went off and I did exactly that. I played a bunch of games with this team. I wanted to test out just how good each and every player was. And um, the results were pretty positive, I guess. Like, some of the obvious things that Adariz was going to be a god, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's true. He was ridiculously good. Um, but it was interesting to test out people like Di Maria. See how they actually perform when they're out on the left mid. And they're not really getting involved. Uh, Tots Varias was one that I really wanted to test out. Unfortunately, that's the only goal he scored for me. I think we played like five or six games with this team. And... It was a bit weird. Like, I really, really enjoyed using him. He was a great player on the ball. For such a, like, for a silver little guy who you think is more of a flair player, he doesn't half win a lot of headers, which is ridiculous. I think he's got really high jumping or something. But I won, like, pretty much all of my headers. He was almost my target man, whereas you would expect Adder is to be that guy, surely, right? Um, so... 
yeah, it was a bit weird that he only got one goal in, in, the, in the few games that we played. His finishing work probably lacked a little bit, but every other aspect of his game I really did enjoy. And I recommend Farias. He's a very good player. Uh, his teammate, the perfect link that we used, which was Zhao Pedro, I think his name was, um, was really good. Like, he didn't have any stamina. Towards the end of the game, he was knackered. Um, but actually, he scored a couple of really nice goals. And the majority of the goals from the team did come from Adariz. And I think the first half of the first game that I played, I didn't score with him. And then pretty much every other game, every other half of every other game, I, I got goals with him. He was very, very good. Um, the, shooting from anywhere, like really can he? Like he takes these outside of the the boot shots. I think this is maybe one of them right now. Yeah, look at that. Um, played it short from a free kick, and he just outside of the boots it into the back of the net. Lovely. Oh, good angle for that one right there. He's just he's just got it really. You know, he doesn't have skill moves. He's not particularly tall, so he's a bit like stuck in this rut of am I a target man? Am I a flair player? But actually, he does a little bit of everything extremely bloody well. Um, so I'm glad that you guys chose him as our player today. I know it was 51-49 in the vote. Um, but I'm glad you guys chose him because, well, he's under 100k. He is um, more affordable than, of course, like Benzema for you guys. And I reckon he probably performs just as well. Um... In total, my team performed very, very well. Like, my defense was rock solid. We've got a lot of pace there, a lot of strength. Loris in goal. My God, he, that, this man is working his way to my favorite goalkeeper on the game. I don't know what it is, but he's just got the reflexes of a god, of a cat, whatever you want to whatever you want to say. Um, but our first random pick player, Angel Di Maria. I'm going to give him a four and a half star value for money. He's not a full on five star value for money because he's more expensive than the other versions of his items. Uh, and then an 8.5 out of 10. I think he did pretty well out on the left mid. He did get himself a goal and he was a great team player. Uh, João Pedro was a amazing. I loved him. He, uh, As I said, no stamina, but a very good finisher of the ball. Long shots the lot. Tots Farias. After not scoring loads, his finishing is definitely down. I'm going to give him a 4-star value for money, which is still above average, and an 8 out of 10, which, again, is still above average. I really liked every aspect of his game, apart from his finishing ability, which maybe you think should be good if you're playing him at striker. And then Tots Adder is 4.5-star value for money. He's still relatively expensive, but more affordable than most. And then a 9 out of 10. I think he's one of the best strikers I've used um, for the money that you pay. He's a very, very good finisher of the ball. And uh, overall, a really enjoyable team. And I hope you've enjoyed the different style of this video. I know that we do it um, based around one player. But I hope you've enjoyed the whole picking it with Siri. And then me actually winging it and building the squad live for you guys. I know it's literally all club links and stuff, but um, you do what you do when you're doing it live and winging it. So I hope you've enjoyed nonetheless. If you have, make sure you smash a like on the video. It shows that you really enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Peace.